you're seeing here is Venno has completely given up the role of getting items in general uh, so that Venno can place wards everywhere and it's helping his team quite nicely and here goes all of the dire this is a 21 minute Roshan so pretty standard but they've been busy doing ganks and stuff so that's acceptable Tinker's going to micro away from Roshan Morphling is pretty tank on their team at the moment so is however that ability does nothing to Roshan so they have to consider that Sand King actually staying up here for vision just to make sure no one comes. They do have observer wards, so they could see when they come. And they managed to kill Roshan just in time. Picks up Aegis. Oh, by the way, uh, for anyone who is a Dota 1 veteran, you used to be able to uh, ward, sorry, like Plague Ward with Venomancer on Roshan, and you could solo Rosh with Venomancer, uh, they've nerfed that for Dota 2, so you're unable to, so in case you're thinking of uh, being unique a game and doing that, it will not work. Dyer's Obviously you can still solo rush with Ursa and Lycan and stuff, but you really can't now with Venom. Like you can early, like when you get to level 7 and you go and do it, you can't go doing that with your Plague Ward, so it won't work. Uh, so yeah, I just pointed that out. Although you could definitely, when you're team Roshan, you could definitely use the wards to help kill Roshan. And they're going to push middle. They probably want a nice early rack so they could end this game fast. I would have went bottom. Their chances are better, especially with this ward here. They could see their opponent's moves a lot easier. And yeah. Excuse me one second. <coughs> <coughs> All right, actually I'm gonna get a drink. Uh, we'll just watch this fight. Nothing's really gonna happen. They're probably gonna have to back out to Dire, but we'll see. Mana Boots by Windrunner, that's gonna help. Mana Boots by Sand King, wow, that's really gonna help the team. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna back out. Probably not too much because there's the ult by Sand King. He's gonna go in, there's the stun. Uh, about half of his ult actually worked. But there's a mechanism to heal Sand King. However, Sand King falls to Doombringer. There's a double kill by Doombringer. Um, Marana's ult working nicely. Venom Morphling actually trying to get uh, Marana. Can he get her? No, but he does have Aegis. We'll probably want to waveform out there as soon as possible. So we'll see what happens. Note the stun gets him first. There's the waveform. That was kind of glitchy. But there you go. The Radiant gets the kill. The Radiant is going to want to push now. They've got three of the Dire down. They are behind in kills, definitely towers. Uh, they're going to want to push right now, no matter what. Tide's going to want to stay a bit more back, considering he really doesn't have a lot of abilities to use. Nice deke by Windrunner. This tower will fall, there's not a whole lot Windrunner can do. And here we go, Ricky does spot Windrunner. However, all the Dire is back, they're going to want to back out right away. We'll see if that happens. Um, here comes Sand King, there's a stun. Doesn't have all, but that's fine. Here's all the team. They did not back out fast enough. This is definitely not going to pay off. Especially since Tide's at low HP. Uh, Slayer doesn't really have mana. She's kind of normal. And here we go. Ricky has been dusted. Good luck getting out there, Ricky. We'll see what happens. Booking it. No. No, just got sniped. Pretty crazily. And there's Sand King. Booking it at low HP. HP. Sorry. So let's check out the items of the Dire, because they're doing really well. Uh, we've already seen Tankers. Uh, Boots of Travel probably was the priority first over... Well, Soul Ring, then Boots of Travel. Uh, support Windrunner. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Windrunner is intelligence. I see a lot of new players, like League of Legends players, going agility items with her. She does seem agility-like, but she is not, so... Do stick to the intelligence items. And... You don't necessarily have to go support just because she's intelligence. I mean, this Windrunner is going to support Windrunner, but there's a lot of uh, offensive intelligence items you could go. Like rushing an early sheep stick with her, which is considered support, but with run Windrunner, excuse me, is quite offensive. Morphling, we haven't really talked about Morphling. Uh, 
leveled up abilities nicely. Um, not too much on Morphling. Uh, we're definitely going to see Lycans for Morphling, which is nice. Already saw you, Windrunner. Sand King. Not too many items. Although, really, there's only two items you need to go with Sand King. Mana Boots and Blink Dagger, which I'm sure that's what Sand King's saving up for at the moment. There's a Sheep Stick by... Wow, I thought he was maybe going to go Lycans, but since uh, Morphling's going Lycans, I guess that gives Tinker the perfect reason to go Sheep Stick. And who am I missing on the team? Venno. Look at that. Still no items. But the support is definitely helping the team. I'm really liking this. I encourage players to do this as much as possible. Especially players that really uh, aren't very successful when it comes to just building regular standard builds and stuff. Morphling is stuck. However, they can't get in there. But now they can, thanks to Lena. So here we go. The Radiant is taking Morphling... Uh, out of existence and it succeeds. Tinker now goes in. Here's this one on one thing I mentioned going in one at a time and dying. So Tinker falls, but the rest of the dire is not going to go in there. Like, look, there's Windrunner, but she's going to stay back. Just do some offensive pressure. And two of them are dead. They could tower push, but if they are, they're going to have to hurry. Uh, we do have two of them backing out, so this tower push isn't probably going to succeed. Mirana's too low in HP. It's just Doom. Radiant we'll see what happens. Uh, ooh, I'm liking Doom's items, actually. Going for the heart, and almost has it. Thousand more gold, that's no problem. Ooh, I didn't even notice Radiant Bot Tower dying tower. to Sand King and Venomancer. And it does. They're gonna maybe try and get them. No. Because they're all invisible by smoke and deceit. This is amazing. I'm actually really loving this game. This is probably one of my favorite casts. Uh, there's the standard Blink Dagger Mana Boots by Sanke. But so many Observer Wards. I'm seeing smoke and deceit being used like crazy. Uh, I'm wondering if I might have picked up some sort of pro game by accident. I don't know. I mean the Captain's Mode and the... Uh, like... Not saying that only foreigners are pro, but like, you know, it just happened to be a foreign game, and yeah. Or a lot of foreign players. So there's a stun by Marana. It's not going to last long because it was pretty short. There you go, it finishes. So we've got pretty much most of the Dire here, most of the Radiant here. The Radiant's going to back out. They don't even have a tower in mid, so really, they don't have anywhere that they could... Uh, used to their advantage other than their home turf uh so yeah but it's good that they got two towers the radiance so they're not entirely behind i i'm still considering this game quite even martian machines by tanker not a oh wow that's pr going pretty far actually but not a successful march the machines so venno's just starting to transition slowly into getting actual items I mean, this Venno's pretty much going support items all game, and safe items all game. But, as you can see, has slowly built a Bracer. Now as a Robe of the Magi, I'm probably going to build something else. And here we go, here's a fight. Alt by Venno. Uh, there's a stun alt by Tide. However, I, I did not even see what just happened there. Sand King's alt just pummeled. Venomancer just got pummeled. Doom trying to get out of there. Has some nice regen. Ricky can get this kill, perhaps. Because there is the purge on Windrunner. Here we go. Ooh, nice stun by Windrunner. There's the mana boots. She does dust. And Ricky gets the kill. Nice. Good job by Ricky. Which, that is a triple kill. Here we go. Um, they can push this tower, actually. But they better hurry up. Uh, the creeps will be coming. They could have maybe quickly ran up here to stop those creeps. Get a bit extra damage. But they're low in mana. But yeah, look, like, four of them are dead. I know there's only three of them, and they had to go back to heal, but still. Morphling, nice. There's the Lincolns, uh, Agility Treads. Let's check out Morphling's stats. Uh, obviously going more towards Agility, but, uh, could be switching it out. We'll take a look at, uh, Morphling a little down the road of this game, see if, uh, he switches it up or whatever. Let's see what Venno has. There you go. Drum of Endurance. I was pretty sure that's 
what was going to be made. And there's more support items to get. <laughs> this is great. And I, I still, I'm still baffled by Sand King buying a courier early game. You'd think uh, Venno would have did it, considering Venno's so nice and so good with support. Look at Ricky's items. Diffusal Blade, nice. Looks like going for Black King Bar, which is totally uh, good for uh, the current situation he and his team are in. Hood of Defiance for Tide. Tide, unfortunately, has been dying a lot, so it doesn't really have a lot of options. There's the Sentry Ward. Morphling does manage to get that kill. Doom trying to get Tinker here. Tinker is very squishy, so may succeed, but there's a mechanism by Windrunner. And Doom is in big trouble. Lena gets a double kill, actually, which is great for the Radiant. And I think Doom is going to get away. Yeah, uh, the Dire starting to split up. They're going to have to watch out for that. And here we go. Yeah. Sand King pushing bottom. Just trying to get some farm going. Actually, this Sand King is going quite standard. That I doubt Sand King will buy magic sticks at the moment. But... Or magic wand, whatever. But we'll see. If so, then it's very standard. We're going back here. Windrunner taking a lot of damage. Doom's going to take the other way around knowing that... Oh, Windrunner saw Doom. Nice. Oh, uses a stun there. Gets two of them. Sand King gets the others. Oh, my goodness. Nice kill by Sand King. Slowed by Doom. Rana. Oh, my gosh. This is so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's at least another two hits. There's a stun. What is she doing? Oh, nice, nice. Nice. That was great. Uh, who used that heal? I don't even know. I have no clue who did that heal right there, but that was a really nice heal. Venomancer. Using this to the advantage. Marana does miss with that arrow. Sorry. I try not to move so much. And nice, nice. Lena is just slaughtering at the moment. Tinker's going to back out. He's like, ooh. Probably not a good idea to go in there. Trying to figure out how Marana healed there. I don't see any healing items on Ricky, not on Doom, like there's the headdress but nothing really there. Oh, magic wand, there you go, I think magic wand, uh, save Marana. Uh, there's a lot of people that actually don't go magic wand, they just think it's a totally useless item, but there you go, that proved wrong right there. I mean, yes there's other items you could have gone, but probably wouldn't have been as effective as magic one so we've got the dire creeping look at the look at the kdr so close i mean the towers really say otherwise but otherwise it's really close i'm just gonna check the kdr of the heroes holy jinkies Dyer's middle tide my middle goodness <laughs> if tide could catch up and kills the radiant could definitely uh take the lead here but that's it's never good to see a tide I mean it's never good to see any hero feeding in a way but you definitely don't want your tank to feed I mean they do have another tank but still um actually Venno and uh, Sand King are not doing too well but they are making for nice supports which is nice back to the fight here which I've already missed some of it Doom gets some kills a kill whatever um, Morphling trying to get Lena. I don't know why Lena took this way. But, yeah. There's Sand King. Sand King uses Sandstorm and will walk out unscathed. They're all low. Uh, most of the Dyer is still here. They should really back out. There's an arrow. Hits nothing. Sorry about this. I apologize for the sound effects, I just had to do that. Ricky, uh, no, that's not Ricky, that's, yeah, there's Ricky, but there's Sand King. That is a lot of creeps, they should really back out, considering Ricky is here. I know there's two of them. And here we go, Ricky's gonna try and kill Sand King, succeeds in doing so. Stunned by Windrunner on Ricky, and Mechanism, yeah, they're gonna back out. So there's three of them live, three of them. These three, however, are low. They should really, uh... Top tower is I mean, they could attempt a tower push, but I don't know if it'll work. I mean, their tops died, too. Ooh, oh, man, I'm tired. I have no clue why. Been casting for 50 minutes. Wow, this is a pretty long game, actually. 
But no worries, if you're still here, then that's good. I, uh, I'm really liking this game, actually. I mean, I've already said that, but like, this is definitely a game you want to watch. There is a lot of, uh, like, role modeling going on here. <laughs> a lot to learn. And the KDR, like, look, we've got these two aren't doing too well. And, uh, actually, I'd really only say Tide's the only one on their team, but it's more, uh, like, Tide isn't really contributing to his team as much as Sand King and Venno, especially Venno with the support, so. Lots of assists. Which is nice. Still tons of wards. Look at this. Look, like, I don't even know why these two wards are so close together. And why this ward isn't up here. And it's right here. And why this ward isn't, like, up here. And right in here. And, yeah. Look at that. Using the illusion rune. Uh, to make sure the that they can rush safely. They do succeed. Morphling picks it up again. Lincoln's Aegis. Another ultimate arm, so could be a sheep stick. Probably not a good item to be going. So, Dyer's top tower is under uh, bloodstone, Dyer's soul booster. We'll see. So they're sticking around, and they're gonna capture all the Dyer in the woods. Venno, lots of damage. Nice ult by Tide. I'm liking that ult. Sand King's ult, however. Just happened afterwards. Morphling falls. Does have Aegis though. Tide. Nice. Tide gets a kill. Uh, Tide's gonna back out there, which is a good job. No, Tide's gonna stay. Yeah, probably wasn't a good idea. There really wasn't anything Tide could do to help his team out there so, other than backing out. And they're going for Morphling. Here we go. Wow, Venno's at low HP. They can maybe get two kills here. However, they are in the base. Uh, there falls Ricky. Oh, these two are so close to die. Okay, Venno does die. Slayer does die. Uh, Morphling does get away. Didn't switch to strength. And there is the Manta style. Nice. That's really nice. And lots of creeps down here. So they're going to want to... There you go. Doom's going to tend to that. I'm not seeing the courier being used too much. They both have flyings. You really only need one for your team, unless if... Like, if you really push their base, let's say... The Radiant... <sighs> I don't know why I'm tired. Anyways, the Radiant pushes their base quite far. You know, you could get a second courier, just because your team will be using it more frequently to transport items. Transport items. Interesting spot for the Sentry Ward, however, it will poop out soon that's a better spot uh i mean the dyer's using wards more frequently than the radiant but the radiant is using them what i'd say uh in better spots better positioning of those wards so let's check out the radiance items actually smoke of deceit by elena shiva's heart i'm liking doom's items quite nicely tied there's that Hood of Defiance. Uh, Ricky trying to go for Taker. Oh, there's the Teleport. Oh, just gets away. And yeah, just there's the Black King bar we mentioned earlier. Venno's still not quite level 16. There's the... I don't know why Venno is doing that. Um, I... You know what? <laughs> I mean, uh, using the endurance quite nicely, but this Venno. I'm wondering if this Venno's just new, but it's totally succeeding for his team. I mean, maybe that's all Venno. <laughs> this Venno was taught to do was just to be pure support and observer wards and sentry wards all game. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's working. So yeah, these four are going to be pushing soon. There's a, not a successful march of the machines. March of the machines, that's what it's called, right? Yes, it is. All four of them are here to defend, so they're going to back out. Maybe. Ooh, Marana has a Lincoln Spear. That's good. 
you notice how the teams kind of are playing like the same role for uh, each hero on each team. Like for example, Marana got Lincoln's, Morph got Lincoln's. She's like Smoke of Deceit King. So is Sand King on their team. Doom is playing like tank heavy role, which in this situation I would say is actually Morphling. So Morphling's kind of playing two roles. Although Sand King is the tank, but Sand King's going for Scepter. So this Sand King is all about initiating and doing just pure damage rather than playing a role of tank. Not really ganking though, just going in there and doing some damage during team fights. Then you got your like deadly Ricky, you got your deadly Windrunner for the Dire. There's some wards, they'll be able to see Ricky if he chooses that path for an escape route. I'm gonna try and not move the screen around so much with the arrow keys. There we go. We're gonna have a team fight. Doom's gonna run in there to initiate, which should happen, but however, his team does react a bit late. Nice ult by Tide. Marana does get that kill right there with the Starfall. Doom on Tinker. There goes Tinker. Out of here. Tide goes out. Wow, double kill by Morphling. Let's see what happens. Uh, Morphling gets another kill. It was a triple. Windrunner and Doom. Oh, Doom's getting pretty low. There's the wait for him. Oh my goodness, this is close. We'll see what happens. Snipe by Windrunner. That's all right. Um, we do have Marana here. Should back out. Uh... Yeah, this is not going to end too well. Let's see what happens. There's the waveform. Oh my goodness. Ultra kill. That's great. That's awesome to see. Um, if Windrunner didn't do that snipe there, I'm pretty sure Morphling could have got that kill too. That would have been uh, just awesome. Yeah. I think. I mean, ultra kill's fine. There's nothing wrong with an ultra kill. They're going to push. They're all dead. Why not? Top has been pushed by Tinker. Tinker's gonna rearm, reuse those marching the machines. There you go. Look at all these little guys. They're, they're going everywhere. So there you go. Going up here. Uh, these creeps. Yeah. Okay, definitely not. All the outside towers gone. They haven't pushed any middle, but that's definitely going to be the Dyer's next step. We're starting to see the Dire, I mean the Dire has been benefiting a teeny bit uh, since the start of the game, but we're starting to see that little teeny bit uh, accelerate in a way. I guess that's probably, that's not the right wording, but still. Uh, they're starting, it's starting to, like we all are starting to notice that the Radiant is falling behind a bit here. They're not falling behind, it's just... The Dyer is uh, advancing more than they are. Uh, but yeah, there's all the first tier towers gone for the Dyer. Uh, tier 2 towers and tier 1 obviously are gone for the Radiant. So we'll most likely be seeing a push at middle lane. I mean, they can push any lane, but middle's probably going to be the most effective. Ancient Granite Golem has just fallen to Venomancer. <laughs> creeping consistently. They're all creeping. Radiant not so much. They've got to be doing... They have they have to defend a bit more than creep. But it's still... They're all still getting the same amount of experience. Oh. Double and damage. they're just sticking around. Excuse me one sec. I will follow... Let's follow Windrunner. If I could click on her. Allies no, it works. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, here we go. Actually, we're gonna fight. see a team fight, so I'll just stick here for a moment. Uh, a lot going on here. We did see a stun. Um, Windrunner does fall. Uh, Doom on Tinker. Perfect Doom, too, by the way. You want to use Doom on heroes like Tinker. Nice. Sand King comes in there with his ult. Gets a few kills. So does Morphling. Uh, Doom's all by himself here. There's not a lot Doom could do at the moment other than book it. Uh, same with Marana. Yeah, Marana's going to want to book it. Doesn't have the ult, though. Probably use the ult to initiate. And Tidehunter is declaring the GG. Um, that's, like, I don't have to say it's probably going to take a while for this to end still. Although, uh, the Dire is definitely uh, gaining the lead, but... Like, there's the replay counter. You could obviously tell it's going to take just a bit more. 
But yeah, Marana t actually, Marana did manage to escape, but she's the only one. And maybe Morphling. Wow, Morphling is going for this kill. Let's see what happens. He backs out. <laughs> That's fine. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And there we go. But yeah, I'm. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, it's really good that we saw the ultra kill. We don't see too many of those in my cast, just because games are pretty even and stuff. I mean, this one was even, but it was nice to see that ultra kill, but that rampage, we, we, we all know from watching right there that Morphling could have got that, a rampage right there, but Windrunner did get the snipe. It was a good snipe, so we all credit her for that. But that would be nice to see a rare pitch too. We'll see one of those in a future game. No doubt about it. Uh, like this Veno, like obviously you can use Plague Wards for, to, they kind of act as regular wards. It's basically a free ward. And I'll just place one up here, which will probably happen. Yeah, there you go. Not even you, okay, yeah, still using these too. <laughs> um, but that's great, like look. Yeah, this is great. Look at the vision here. Look at the vision. All from those little guys. Courier used. There's a teleport in there in case anyone needs it. <laughs> Although only one person can really use it. Dual mana boots. It's always good for someone to get mana boots on your team. It just totally helps. I mean, I'm not saying the more the better because that's not true. Because some heroes are not supposed to do that, but still. Speed this up. Do, 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 do. A lot of uh, foreign talk there. I think that's Russian. Not sure. But I'm almost positive this is on North American server. But they're all pretty much talking Russian, so I could be wrong. And there has been a lot of pauses in this game, too. Uh, you know, the occasional pause is fine, but what's this, like the third now? I guess you could consider that occasional, but I I, I get kind of mad when people pause frequently. <laughs> you know, one one a game is enough for me, because I'm I'm here to play. But I understand if maybe something comes up and you need to pause. That's totally understandable. So here we go. They're gonna rush. There's the alt by Windrunner. Actually, I think that just glitched out there. Nice wall by Venno. I'd like to see them try and get out <laughs> with all these here. I don't think they can. Yeah, yeah, they're stuck. They're gonna have to wait. Oh no, there's a nice little hole right in there. Uh, so Venno gets the cheese. Uh, Aegis again for Morphling. What's that? Eye of Scatty. Wow, that's pretty deadly. This Morphling is definitely deadly. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Remember I said we'd check back on Morphling to see what would happen? Uh, I thought Morphling would have probably changed the strength, although really, uh, basically Morphling's ability, you could switch up agility and strength s stats, stats, uh, yeah, you could switch them up, and uh, a lot of people usually go uh, strength early game, like more strength, you don't go pure strength, because then you're going to be in big trouble damage wise, but, and then you transition to agility, this one kind of stayed agility the whole game but near late game had enough of a bonus to like look see the plus 79 down here where my mouse is moving like that's pretty much like his original uh strength was kind of so he could totally uh transfer all the regular strength points into agility and still will have the extra strength there to act as normal Basically what happened, a lot of agility on Morphling, so Morphling is going to be attacking very fast, with a lot of damage, and it also affects his abilities too. And with Eye of Scatty, like, the, that's a lot of slow attacks. Like, look at this, look. Look at that. I mean, the rest of his team's doing great, but that's just deadly. We'll see him attacking some heroes, so it'll, it will not be pretty. So there's the, the invisible. Look at the slow on Marana. Like, Marana, ooh, nice sleep. That's a nice sleep. Really nice sleep. Ricky couldn't get Morphling. Whoa, I'm all over the place. Let's watch uh, Slayer. No, we're going to watch the Dire because they are pushing. Look at the March of the Machines. We'll see another one probably soon when he rearms. Probably going to use some missiles and lasers first. There's the missile. Um, can't use the laser. 
it's just gonna wait. It does cost a lot of mana. So here we go. There's the ult by Venno. Ricky taking a lot of damage. Nice ult by Ty. Ty does save Ricky. Uh, here comes Sand King though with his ult. Does have Scepter, so that's a lot more dangerous. More fat low HP. They're going for Bob Tower. They're just gonna kill the whole base. And here we go. Slayer, not a chance in heck to save that bottom lane. And yeah, this is pretty much GG. Here's the kill death ratio. You can see that it's balanced. I mean, a lot of people say like they don't go by KDR, which is kill death ratio, but it really helps for you to understand where the game is at in point. I mean, if you have a feeder, that totally changes, but still, Doom disconnected. He knows it's a good game. Ricky disconnected. It's GG. Um, so yeah. They're they're all pretty much dead, so they really can't even like fountain farm. They're just gonna go, they're gonna end it, and that's it. So here we go, this main is falling really fast. No, now they're gonna fountain farm. Some of them. Now they're not. No one's there. I mean, who could they fountain farm against? <laughs> there goes the clones from Manta by Um I'm gonna check Venno's items. Yeah, look at this. Look at Venno's items. Will they get this kill before the game ends? And yes they will, and this main just falls in time. There you go. And you got your fancy uh, opera music and stuff. Alright, so... I hope you all enjoyed that game, I really did. I was, It was a long game, but it was definitely worthwhile. I like, there's your scoreboard, so check it out. Uh, Tide, unfortunately, just couldn't... Lots of assists. Especially with that ult, but not just couldn't catch up and kills and that. But look, Tide had pipe, so you know he was doing all right considering the situation. Uh, but yeah, Sand King pretty much got out of that. Sand King was really never a feeder, but started catching up uh, his kills closer to what his deaths were. And Venno did the same, and look, Morphling just slaughtered the whole game. So there's your items. Y y you know, you could just read it, investigate it. I don't need to explain that to you. Uh, it says it's only 51 minutes. All the pauses, I guess. That that probably, that's why it's up there on the replay counter. Alright, so, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. I try not to uh, pressure people to doing that, but I need more subscribers. So, if it's not a trouble for you feel free to do that and yeah all right i guess i'll see you all next time